Hello again, uh, it's Greg Harrelson with Century 21 and Brendan Payne also with Century 21 and uh, th this time we want to discuss how long it takes to sell a property. You know, it, it's interesting, we'll have people uh, call us up um, and they'll say, yes, I want to sell, um, yes, I want you to uh, handle the sale for me, but they're always asking, well, how long should we, should we expect it to take? So how do you answer that question? Because everything, everyone's different. So how do you answer that? How long does it take to sell a property? Yeah, it's a great question, one that we get all the time and you know how long it takes to sell typically deter is determined by the marketing strategy and the effort and the results that uh, that are put in um, by the agent that you choose so what I mean by that is you can look in just about any residential neighborhood or any condo complex or oceanfront complex and you're going to see properties that are selling at the same time where there's similar properties that have been sitting for maybe months and so yeah. the question, the obvious question is, what's the difference between those two? Now, if you could take a cross section of those ones that are selling and the ones that aren't, typically the difference that you would find in them is the marketing plan that's being employed by not only the agent, but sometimes the plan um, that's being requested by the seller. So marketing is, in, you know, encompasses a lot of things. It en encompasses the price that they set on it. It encompasses what does the agent do that's you know, some of the more active activities versus just passive and, you know, putting properties online and putting them in the MLS. What are they actually doing on a daily basis to generate demand? Because the offers don't come until you have showings. Showings don't come until you've created demand and demand doesn't show up until the property has been marketed aggressively. Wow, that's a, uh, uh, an interesting uh, approach because I think a lot of people that are thinking about selling, what they're afraid of is, you know, if they want to sell faster, that you're going to just tell them to lower their price. What I hear you saying is, um, you don't always have to lower the price to sell the property faster. Sometimes you can just pick up and increase the marketing that you're actually doing. I mean, is that what you're saying? Yeah, you know, pricing is always part of the equation, but. The market over you know, the three or four or five years in the severe part of the downturn, um, that became most agents default, their go-to, as if it's not selling, then lower the price. Now, as we've moved past that part of the market, while price is still important, marketing is actually more important than the price you set on it. All you have to do is look at some of the properties that are selling while others sit. So it is, it, it's, it's changed and it's important that you, you understand as a consumer that just price alone is not the most important factor anymore in selling your property. Well, I found that, uh, I'm sure the audience finds that very helpful. So thank you so much, Brendan. If there's anything else we can do, if you have any other questions about selling property or even buying property, we'd love to help you. I'm Greg Harrelson. This is Brendan Payne, Century 21. Have a great day.